Hello Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. This is a general love reading for the month of July. As always, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. If you are not a subscriber, tap the button and hit the bell. And if you find my messages helpful, please do share them. Okay, let's see what is coming out here for you. We have the card of wait. All right, wait. It says it's not time yet. Things are being woven. Okay, this is destiny being at work when it comes to your love life and water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. Two cards that are telling you right now to just take care of yourself, rest, and wait. Let's see what the divine, what universe, what source has in store, what your own soul has in store for you when it comes to the matters of the heart. But as you are doing that, doesn't mean that you're waiting for somebody to come in. What you're doing is that you're surrendering to yourself at this time and really taking care, self-care, love, loving yourself this month, right? So let's see what messages are coming out on uh, the fairies. The fairy wants to come out and sexuality is the card that wants to come out and new opportunity. Again, there is somebody that is coming in and then I have new location too. I just wanted to look at that and I was not doing that. So some of you could be moving. Some of you could be coming into alignment and new opportunity that comes in. What you really want to look at is what is it that you want to experience with the card of sexuality because there is great opportunity for something new. So you are asking yourself, you know, what is it that you want to really experience when it comes to this card? This is all about what is what are your sexual needs? What are your desires? What is it that you want to have when it comes to your partnerships? And it's really important. So sexuality, although it is important, it is a part of life, right? But it's not just the physical here. It is all of it. So it is asking you to also look at the emotional and the spiritual self when it comes to relationships. So it's asking you, you have a great opportunity to have relationships in a new way. And now you're being asked to also heal anything that was dormant within yourself, whether this is your value, whether this is about you being um, intimate, whether it's about you just being sex driven, whatever that this is for you when it was in regards to relationship and for you to also heal any body issues within yourself. So, you know, if you're not feeling good about your body, if you're not feeling good in regards to sexuality and satisfying relationships, it's all of these things that show up. So right now you're going through some kind of a metamorphosis when it comes to you and relationships. And this is saying your your own value when it comes to your body is really what is coming out here for you. Let's see what the soul's journey. What is the message when it comes to we have blame and success. So <laughs> it's like, okay, come out of that, right? I accept responsibility for my well-being is the first one. Yeah, because there is no blame. There is, you know, blame is lower vibration. I know that there's no greater goal than to love. Yeah, absolutely. So the success is to love. And this is you becoming whole again within yourself. So if you had blamed somebody else or somebody else had blamed you, it is asking you to really look at that so you can heal it, come out of that energy, and the success is in that, it's just in love, but you're being asked right now to pause. I will be doing clarifiers um, with all of these cards. So let's see for Dorian Virtue. Let's see what which card, okay, that's the card that comes out. And we have codependency. So the card of codependency comes out and then we did have retreat. Again, one more time, you're being asked to wait. It's time to disconnect from the world. This is the second time the card of retreat. And we have codependent addictions are affecting your romantic life. So whether this is sexual addiction, whether this is um, going outside of yourself, whatever that this is for you, you're to come out of the blame and anything that has been holding you back. So when we are in a place of pause and stillness, when we retreat from relationships because we want to reflect what it was showing back to us, it is saying, where were you codependent? Was anybody codependent on you? Were there any blames in your current relationship or in your past relationship? It's time for you to really look at that and to really release all of those things so you can heal the feminine that is within you, whether you're a masculine or a feminine. Weakness, I wasn't strong enough for you and soulmate. Okay, so again, some of you are, I'm, what I'm seeing is that maybe you're waiting for a return of somebody, but it's saying wait, because that relationship could possibly, that contract is done. For others of you, 
when you come to this place of watering your own inner garden, you understand somebody comes back. Why? Because they've taken a time out. Two people have taken a time out and recognize, you know, we get each other, but let's look at the codependency where two people have been codependent on what? Is it because lack of self-esteem, lack of self-worth, needing to go outside of yourself to fill the void that is within? So there's healing that comes from all this. There is a soulmate here. I wasn't strong enough for you. For some of you, as you retreat from it, from a past relationship, there is a return or somebody that comes in that you meet. We will be clarifying here. So there's a letting go of a relationship and a coming of a relationship, whether this is past or this is um, somebody who does actually just come in. We're going to get a little bit more on that. So let's start with clarifying and let's see the messages that are coming out. Okay. We have the queen of material in reversal. And we have the night of inspiration and the moon in reversal. Okay, so we have three reversals. So there's some blocks again that are coming up. This is not feeling safe, not feeling secure. That's hence water your garden. It's time for you to find safety and security within yourself. And again, if there's anything for the feminine, the, the feminine part of yourself to heal, this is the time to do it. We also have the new moon in Cancer that is coming, which is asking you to look at your emotional body within the feminine. One more time. The night of inspiration. Don't make any rush decisions, period. <laughs> it's just what I'm... Wait in the night of inspiration. Don't do anything you're going to regret. Don't, don't make any fast moves at this time. It is not a time for that. Not this month. It's just an advice. I mean, you're going to do what you're going to do. I can't, these are just general readings. So the moon card, Pisces Cancer... Uh, within sexuality, you're really to dive in deep and look at the shadow of yourself, what you have suppressed when it comes to you, your emotions, your physical body in regards to you in relationships is a huge message that is coming out. Let's grab a few more cards. The car fell on the floor. Excuse me for just a second. All right. The card that fell on the floor is the six of material and it did fall in reverse so it tells me that there were things that were out of harmony when it comes to a relationship the give and take so it's telling me it's time for you to really look at that have no blame and bring things back into balance so kind of being out of balance at this time here nine of you have a lot of reversals every single card is a reversal nine of emotions comes with what weakness retreat success so here it is. Nine of emotions is blocked energy from all your heart's desires, the things that you want. So what within you is blocked? What within you is out of balance? What within yourself is out of harmony? It is asking you, do you know what it is that you want? Are you are you 100%? Do you know what your future life looks like? You know, what is it that you're experiencing when it comes to the matters of the heart? Do you know exactly what it is? Because this is blocked energy. So some of you could have been in a relationship that you thought was the relationship, but it no longer is. It was based on codependency and weakness that was within a relationship when it comes to safety, security, and harmony. And this is saying, you know, all these can be turned around. But again, with that weight card, the time is not yet. Doesn't mean it won't be tomorrow or the next day, but it's just saying you really want to be honest with yourself. Controlling the emperor narcissistic controlling behavior again <laughs> here with the codependency in the card of retreat the card comes in reverse you have one two three four five six cards that are in reverse so it's time for you to take control back and from a place of what codependency it is time for you to take this back right now aquarius wow the, the message yeah finally an upright card <laughs> two upright cards thank god i'm like where's your uprights Okay, it is time for you to really look at yourself as a star. Allow yourself to shine. See yourself. This is having victory in what I feel like right now you're taking the time. You're just going literally. You're like one step at a time. You're pausing. You're not rushing into anything. It's just a huge message right now for Aquarius. You're just not rushing anything. And here we have the wheel. Oh, thank God. Look, at these are <laughs> and nine of, oh, I feel so much better now for your reading. Okay, so we do have victory when it comes to love. As you work on yourself, the wheel turns and you're going to come out 
of being single and you come into a place of liberation and a higher commitment. Wow. I'm like, oh my God. Okay, so there is victory when it comes to your safety and your security. You are meant to shine. You're meant to be seen. You're meant to have the kind of love that you desire. You're not meant to rush. You're to look at all the things that you have experienced so you can have a breakthrough. And this is doing that work. That work is within yourself, watering your garden, literally. Wheel, you're turning the wheel when it comes to the things that were suppressed and that the things that you could not see. So cause and effect. Divine says when it's time for you to turn that wheel. Here, you're taking yourself out of anything that was based on blame and based on things that were codependent or anything that was out of balance. You're recognizing your own radiance, your own independence, and falling in love with yourself, raising your vibration, raising your standards at the bottom of the deck, and this is liberation. This is liberating yourself from the past and coming into a higher vibrational energy, and at the bottom of the deck, nine of inspiration. <clears throat> My voice is going up. Do not give up. This is the warrior card. Do not give up on love. Do not give up on yourself. You're just going through a transition right now, which is going to bring you to something even way more beautiful that you have already experienced. I was getting worried. <laughs> not really. <laughs> All right, let's grab a love card and let's see what these love cards say. Separation. Yeah, it just clearly shows it. So it says sadness, missing you, thinking, um, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. Yeah, hence the whole reading is about that. But don't worry, things are about to turn. As we see with the soulmate, you just get each other. So, you know, two people just have to learn the lessons. And it says watching, looking, stalking. So gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. So either this is you or this is the other person. And then last card here, we have healthy choices. which says making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care. Yes, and being happier. And we clearly, clearly, and I did want to pull one more, see that the weight card is for you to make healthy choices. So you really, two people are to look at the lessons in order to turn the wheel and have a very beautiful, harmonious relationship, not showing true feelings, hide, and it says pretend, delude, gaslighting. So, you know, somebody could be spying on the other person and not really showing their true feelings. If that is the case, that is exactly where it's supposed to be at this time. So, you know, where we wear a mask, you know, you don't want to be in a relationship that people wear masks because at some point the truth will come out. What you want to do is make a healthier choice for yourself when it comes to the matter of the heart by starting with watering your garden. Let's close you out. If you're not a subscriber, tap the button and hit the web <laughs> the well, the bell, <laughs> and we have channel. You are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. Yeah, you know, um, how could you do this if you don't experience it yourself? So you are to experience all of this yourself in order for you to really, as you do this, what you actually doing is helping the world. And then we have celebration celebrate your achievements you truly are a gift to the universe yes you are yes you are Aquarius sending you much love much light namaste